Good morning and welcome to my channel. Today we are here to see how to create and save a work list. So let's start immediately. We can either go uh, and use the navigator on top to go to the work list environment. Here we have the database where we can see all the saved work lists. If we want to create a new one, of course, uh, we can click on the new work list button, assign a name. Confirm. And at this point, we have an empty work list. We can add programs uh, to populate the list uh, using this function here, add program, and then uh, we can select the programs directly from our uh, path. So just uh, is as simple as double clicking on the program and it's gonna be added. Then again, if you wanna do again, and keep in mind, you can also um, select, select multiple programs in once. So just uh, click on the first one, then press and hold the shift button on the keyboard and then we can select all of them. Otherwise, let me go back to the CAD CAM. There is always the possibility to, if you have a program open, to add the program, just simply clicking uh, on this button here, program in worklist. So you click, nothing happens, but if we go, let's see, cabinet parametric for nest, we can see that it should be the last of the list. Okay, of course, once we are here, we can change the quantities. So if we need to repeat this program or any other program multiple times, we can just change the quantity. And of course, uh, then keep in mind uh, the work list execution is going to start from the highlighted program. So if you have the third one highlighted, it's going to start from here and work in its way down, skipping the first two in this case. So just keep in mind before starting the machine, select the first if that is your intention. And uh, that's it. Basically, we created a new work list. We added all the programs one way or another. It doesn't really matter. Then we can save it. So when uh, the asterisk goes uh, away, we are good to go. Because if we make any change, we'll see that this sign is going to come up again because it means something has changed. We added a new program or we changed the quantity. So it has to be saved again. Once again, once it's saved, we can close it and we will find it in the database tab. And we can just double click if we want to reopen it. I hope this was helpful. See you next time.